if you look at our mainstream media, they are multinational corporations. Uh, we've got a media, that, certainly the mainstream media, that's controlled by a very few people. Well, the people on top are doing phenomenally well. And in fact, all over this world, we're looking at oligarchy. Just a handful of billionaires who are getting phenomenally richer, control the economy, control the political process, control the media. It does make me laugh that these oligarchs are virtually dictating that we have to go through austerity. We have to have members of the world in general have to put up with falling wages, mm -hmm. increasing prices. Fail to read it, fail to analyse it, and I think that's extremely disappointing. And so the viewpoint they represent is the viewpoint of multinational corporations and the employers. That is why they're always opposed to strike action. That's why they're always trying to demonise trade unionists and trade unions. Uh, and that is why the point of view that they represent isn't the point of view of the actual people in this country. In this country. It's the point of view of the rich and powerful. They don't give uh, a fair view uh, of the real challenges. I don't mean they support working class voices. Uh, I don't think until, unless you go on strike, they're not really interested in any union views. That's why we need independent media who are going to put the case and the points of view of ordinary people uh, and the public interest. If you like what you're hearing, if you like uh, the messages that are coming out, why don't you just